Hello everyone, welcome back to the Crafty Crow Show. How many of you here in Harlan remember the day where all the old men used to sit out on the benches in front of the courthouse all day just twiddling? I never knew what they made. I just know they'd sit here and they'd get together and they'd all talk. And I always thought that was cool. So this morning we started sitting off on the bench, doing a little wheeling and thinking with the courthouse here behind us. Did you know there was five courthouses in Harlan? Over the years, there was five courthouses. Would you like to know where they were, what they were about, some of the history of them? I thought you might, that's why we're doing this video. <laughs> I'm not a wood carver, so I'm better at history. Stick with us, stay with us. Let's go toward the history of the many courthouses of Harlan County. Now, most of this information we're getting come from a 1934 newspaper article from Miss Mabel Green. And she gives the history of all the courthouses, so this is what the whole basis of the video is off of. The county was created in 1819, and Mount Pleasant was the original name of Harlan. This area, Harlan, was Mount Pleasant, and it was, it was dedicated as the county seat in 1819. The, the first courthouse was erected sometime after that. It was probably soon after that, but it was a log structure. Now, Miss Green writes that the original courthouse was behind uh, to the back of the New Harlan Theater. And we'll pull up the map here and I'll show you where the New Harlan Theater is. And to the side of the Black Motor Company. And as you can see in this picture, you've got the Harlan Theater here. And then you've got the Black Motor Company here. Now I'll spin you around here to see it, but right behind me is where this area is. See, she goes on to say, all this section was high then, being a knoll caused by the Indian using it for a burying ground. That's always been a thing uh, down close to the river. There was a lot of Indian artifacts and stuff found, so they always thought that everything was mounted up here because of Indian burial grounds. Uh, there was a walnut grove there, which was cleared. Part of the logs probably used in the building and graded level enough to place the building which had a dirt floor and one window and one door furnished with homemade benches. Um, she goes on to say that it's not known whether there was a fireplace or not. Some of the early log churches did not have any heat but the people would heat sandstones carrying them in their saddlebags and use them for foot warmers. That was just the old way for a foot warmer. Um, so it's very likely this building was not heated. So, the first courthouse in Harlem was a log structure built sometime after 1819, and I'll pan you around and kind of show you the area here. So this is what we got. This is the back of the Harlem Funeral Home now, which used to be the Black Motor Company. And the map that we've seen, you know, this building here in front of us was added on, but you've got right there out in the front, across from that empty pad, was the old river bank. Uh, where the Clover Fork River come out and there's the bridge so it would have been in this area let's pan back it would have been over in this area here so right here along the bank somewhere is where the original courthouse was I don't know if it might have been where before this building was built you know nobody really knows for sure but we do know this is the area you've got Dayton from 1934 that's got you know that's that's closer or farther back in history so a little more accurate information. Pan around, this is Main Street we're looking at. Out where that tree is is a little side note and we'll talk about it again here in a minute. Uh, we talked about it on the Emerlin Golf Course video also. That is, you can see the stage in the background and stuff now. This is where we do the Angle Pokes Out Festival every year. And this is uh, the edge of the Harlan Center which this all used to be retail shops and buildings through here, big brick buildings, but probably back around that tree or somewhere out in that parking lot is where the old mill stood. And like I said, we'll talk about that later in this video, but that's the location of the mill. And then we pan on around, probably the sun killing you. Until we get up to there. And I'll give you a little interesting note about that. Okay, the article goes on to say that there was a two-story jailhouse which had living quarters for the jailer that were entirely separated from the part that was used for the jail. This jail had a dungeon which was used for the worst criminals 
and the opening to this dungeon was covered with latticed ironwork. This building stood somewhere near what is now the corner at the Tamer building, which this is 1934 when she's writing this, so I don't know where the Tamer building was, on the corner of Main and Clover. So, right here you can see in front of us that car pulling up. That is the intersection of Main Street and Clover Street. That car is actually traveling up Clover Street. So the intersection has not changed at all during this whole time. So we know the intersection's right. The tall building here is one corner. You've got the old dollar store building here, which is a corner, the, C the Harlan Center, and then this parking lot. Now, I don't know which one of these it was, but apparently this building was situated on one of these, which was pretty close to the actual courthouse, so that makes sense. And this picture, is labeled as Harlan Courthouse at a certain time, but looking at the picture closely in this description, this is not the courthouse. This, I believe, is a picture of the jail that she's describing in this. So I thought that was pretty cool to show you this picture. You can see the, the jailer's quarters off to the side here, and you can see it is two-story. You know, there's not enough detail to tell if there's any kind of bars on the windows or anything. There's something here on the windows, but I believe this is the actual jail. So that's the side of the first courthouse. There's no evidence left here of it. Sometime after that log structure was built, it was used for a good many years before they decided to make a more permanent structure. So the second courthouse was built, and that's where it gets a little interesting because I'm not sure exactly the location, but we're gonna go up and take a look at the general area. So let's go up and see where the second courthouse was. So the second courthouse was built in 1838 or thereabouts, you know, the, all this is kind of the best research I can do on the video. So 1838, let's see what Miss Green says about it. And, you know, don't mind me referring to my notes. I want to make sure I get this info right. The, the location is kind of iffy on this information. The second and third courthouses were built at the same place. Uh, the second one was built, like I said, and in 1863, the courthouse was burned. Okay, now this is during the Civil War. The courthouse in Lee County, Virginia had got set on fire and they suspected a lot of the guys that had something to do with that come over into Harlem because Lee County is just on the other side of the mountain into Virginia. They thought they had retreated back into Harlem. So in retaliation, they come to Harlem and burn our courthouse down. Um, it says in this article, uh, she gives a long history the, uh, the reason there was a lot of, uh, there was uh, Confederate troops that come in and it says in here that they uh, camped over next to the field, next to the depot, which would have probably been where Pope and Kaywood and Macomb Supply and stuff was at the time and where uh, Creech Boner is now, <clears throat> but said that some of the young boys pastimes was watching the troops drill there. Uh, so, but the reason there was a lot of uh, Confederate and Union activity in this area was because Cumberland Gap. There was a much m larger military presence in Cumberland Gap with control of that gap and movement of, you know, troops and equipment and stuff through the gap. And if you hop on the ridge on the mountain, it's pretty quick to be able to get to Cumberland Gap, or for the day anyway, and to move troops down the ridge lines and get to Cumberland Gap. So. This was kind of an area that scouts and stuff would use um, to keep an eye on the movements of the troops. <clears throat> so the second one was burnt. And it says uh, something actually kind of interesting. It says the bricks for the second one, because apparently it was a brick structure. They upgraded from log cabin to brick. Uh, the bricks were made here in Harlan. It said that there was a an old brickyard in Kiln. Kiln. <laughs> located uh, where the Methodist Church now is um, and actually I'll show you where the Methodist Church is right quick this is just over where we're standing this is actually looking up first street uh, toward Mound Street but the church at the end of the the road that is the Methodist Church and there's a big parking lot stuff behind it. it used to be houses and stuff but apparently one time I don't know what time that church was constructed uh, but there was a brick kiln and stuff there that actually made bricks right here in Harlan. Uh, that was a pretty cool little side note too. And apparently the soldiers that wanted to burn the courthouse also wanted to burn the jail. I don't know if it's the jail that we've shown or not, but um, says that George B. Turner, 
was a rebel sympathizer and he persuaded the rebel soldiers not to burn the jail. So thanks to Mr. Turner for not getting the jail burnt, but the courthouse did burn. And when it burnt, there was a lot of documents and everything that was stored in there that burnt with it. When they decided to rebuild what was the third courthouse, uh, she says they built it on pretty much the same site as the old one was. So we've got two courthouses about the same site. We just gotta figure out where they're at, right? Said uh, when it was decided to rebuild the brick courthouse, B.A. Rice was, a, was the successful bidder. He came to the county of Harlan, bought up a good bit of land to build the old mill dam, which furnished power to saw lumber, which built the third courthouse. And there was a place to grind both wheat and corn. So that's where the mill come back in. That's how the mill got built. When they was going to build the third courthouse, this man come in, built the mill. He built a mill, uh, a pond dam across the river there and built the mill down there in the, the parking lot of the Harlan Center that not only supplied a mill for wheat and corn, but it also supplied a mill to work, to cut lumber up, which was plentiful around this place. And that lumber went to building the courthouse. So that's how that kind of tied in and I wanted to show you back there where that was because I thought that was pretty cool and that's who built the who built the meal and what it was for. Okay she says the side of this courthouse was practically where the old brick one was which would be about where the rear end of the Christian church now is. And like I said remember this is 1934 so but the Christian church is still in the same place. Um, the clerk's office was built a few feet away in a separate building for the purpose of trying to save records in case this courthouse was burned. And, you know, might as well be prepared, right? Uh, it says this courthouse was built with seats graduating upward with the jury room upstairs and also the Masonic Hall. That's a key thing for me on us figuring out where this was. But also the Masonic Hall was on the third floor. Masonic Halls are always on the uppermost floor because. This building was also used for a schoolroom and probably a church for many people. Uh, for many people are left who remember attending school in this courthouse. And grading off the side of these early courthouses, uh, it talks about Indian relics and, and finding Indian relics. But okay, so we've got a Masonic Hall that was built. Uh, it was built on pretty much the same site the third one was at the second one. <clears throat> so to the rear of the Christian church. Now let's get you turned around and explore this. But just for reference, right there is the Christian church. Now this is where I went to Boy Scouts and, and worked my way up through Boy Scouts. So there's the Christian church. Back behind me, running this way, is Clover Street. So you've got the intersection of Clover and First Street right there. I know it's hard to get you oriented, but we're gonna show you a map, show you how this is going. But let's get you turned around, work through this with me, see if we can find this. Okay, like I said, the Justice Center here on the left, and actually we'll give you a shot of this while we're standing here, because this is definitely a big building. And this is where all the courtrooms and everything in Harlem was moved to, was the Justice Center here. But you've got, over the hill back there in the background, you can see right there, that is the train depot. And then uh, the high-rise apartment buildings to the right of it. But that's the Harlan Train Depot over the hill. And then over that hill toward that way is the bottom of the city parking lot. That's where the mill would have been. So there in front is the Christian church. And to the rear, this church used to have a big portico porch and stuff that stuck out. Um, it was a lot more elaborate looking than it is now. Honestly, I can't remember the exact reason right offhand why that was changed. But if that's the front, you know, I don't, I don't know about the rear. I thought the front was facing Clover Street. So, you know, this is all kind of, there, there's no maps. The earliest map I've got is 1919. So all this was already gone. But you got Harlan Community TV, which could be considered the rear. And spin on around the Everso Street, you've got the buildings there. And this ground is uneven. There we go. Uh, that's where the building burnt recently, Johnny Turner's office. But if you pan around and look at it, my old maps, that big building right there might be a better bet for us for a courthouse. Let's go down here and get a better look at it and we'll talk about it. So here's the building. It sits on the corner of Central Street and First Street. 
Uh, that truck's actually going down Central Street. The reason I'm thinking it's this, my 1919 map, and we'll pull it up and show it to you here. This map shows, uh, when, you know, this would kind of be considered behind the Christian church. But you've got the Christian church down here. And then, you know, all this area was parking garage and stuff up above it. But if you move on up to right here, it's actually labeled Masonic Lodge. You know, like I said, this is 1919. It's labeled Masonic Lodge. And many, many, this is not where the lodge is today. Many maps after this that I've got show the lodge still being here. So I don't know when the lodge was moved because the lodge is actually on down the street now. This building was big enough, the size and everything, just the description she gives in that makes me wonder if this isn't the right building. So now this building is actually the future home of the Harlan County Beer Company. They're getting ready to start a brewery and restaurant things in this building, which is great. This building's needed something done for it for a long time, and that ought to help downtown a whole lot. But um, And I don't know when their opening date is. But there's the building that I think, and I kind of believe, that this was the site of the second and third courthouses. And that's my reasoning. You know, the lodge was a big thing with this label and stuff. So now we go to number four. Okay, so after the fiasco rebuilding, they decided to build another courthouse. Uh, I guess that one, they wanted a more dedicated courthouse for a courthouse instead of sharing it with the lodge and all that other stuff. It was probably built out of necessity at the time because this is before coal mining came in. There wasn't a whole lot of industry or anything to pull from and probably wasn't a whole lot of money to spend. So in 1888, the fourth courthouse was built. And here we'll show you a picture of what the fourth courthouse looked like. It says the... Uh, the fourth courthouse was a two-story brick structure designed by Moses W. Howard and built in 1886 to 1888. So it took them two years to build this two-story structure. You can see here on the map, it's right across from where the, um, the third one was, if that was the third one. But anyway it goes, it was across the street from it in its own, its own little section here. Fast forward up to 1912. 1912 they changed the official name of Harlan which was already being referred to as Harlan Courthouse and stuff you know nobody nobody ever went with the Mount Pleasant name it don't sound like a whole bunch this courthouse served at the same site that this one is because this is this is the latest courthouse this is the fifth courthouse behind me but it was on the same site I guess they tore it down and rebuilt this bigger one or maybe used parts of it let's see what Miss Green has to say about this courthouse though it was built of brick and the same man who got this contract also built an old brick academy, she says, um, which was used for years as a schoolhouse, but is now called the Teacherage. So in 1934, the Teacherage. I tried to look this up, and the oldest building sitting at the city school site would have been about where this Teacherage was. And I can't really find exactly where it's at. I know kind of the general location, but you know, some of you that work at the city schools might know what they used to call the teacherage, or some of you older people might remember it. But they built the teacherage at the same time as they built the fourth courthouse. That brings us up to 1918. In 1918, they started construction on this courthouse. And from 1918 to 1922, this courthouse was constructed at a cost of $220,000. That's how much uh, this article uh, this is a separate article from Miss Green, but $220,000 is how much it cost to build this back in 19, you know, the 1920s, the early 1920s. Oh, and the Justice Center, it says, was constructed between 2003 and 2004, so that was the, the Justice Center when it was built. Let me bring you around the front so you can see the front of the courthouse, because that's, that's the best view of it. Hard to get this thing in shot with me in it. <laughs> so, this other article says, the building faces north, and is a three-story brick, concrete, and gray-colored Indiana limestone structure. The building is located on landscape grounds of Courthouse Square in the center of Harlan and is faced with the Indiana limestone. The north front has a high portico supported by four tall stone columns rising to the pediment at the roof. Uh, the courtroom is located on the third story. Okay, that, some of that's wrong. I mean, it's right, but it's actually four-story. I'll walk you around and show you this, but you've got 
the basement, which used to be the judge's executive's office and some other offices. Then you got the first floor, which is now, now it, it's always been the county clerk's office is on the first floor and the uh, sheriff's office, uh, their office and the sheriff's, the actual sheriff's office is on the first floor. Second floor was courtrooms and you had the third floor, the top floor that don't have windows. That was the jail. So when they built this, they built a jail into it. And maybe that's another video sometime. I've been up there, it's pretty cool and pretty spooky. But, so it's, I guess technically a four story or three story with the basement, however you want to look at that. Okay, get you a better view without my big fat head in the way. You've got uh, over here to the left, that where those vehicles are, that second street. Then you've got Central Street here in the foreground. So you've got a rock wall all the way around the boundary. And there's the front of the courthouse. And if you keep panning, there is the building where the brewery is going to be. But that's the building that I was thinking was the second and third. So second and third and fourth and fifth were all right here. So it was all kind of in a general location. And we'll finish it with Miss Green's, the end of her article. It says, the sign of the present courthouse was donated to the county by William Turner, a very wealthy man at the time, and B.A. Rice and F.G. Lewis were the commissioners who laid off the cornfield destined to become Harlan proper. So most of the downtown and stuff was just a cornfield at the time. It don't give a date for that. And one acre was set aside for the courthouse site, which is used today. So the whole courthouse sits on about an acre of land here that was donated to the county. So I hope you enjoyed this little history of the different courthouses of Harlan. I never knew there was five. You know, I think I knew there was four, but I didn't know about the fifth. But that's as much information I got on it. Actually, I mean, I'm, I'm sure she's long gone now, but I'm thankful to Miss Green finding that article in the paper when I was researching for other stuff. And I thought this would be a good little episode that you all might enjoy. So there's Harlan's courthouses and how we've progressed over the years from the early 1800s. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below if you know anything different or got any more suggestions. Uh, like it if you like the video and subscribe if you want to keep seeing more of these history videos. I'm going to be cranking out a few of them here. I've got some good ideas down the pipeline. So thank you all for stopping by. I'm glad to have you. Love one another as the good Lord tells you. We'll see you all in the next video.